let's talk about something kind of kind of fun and it's also interesting thing about so apparently steven spielberg did an interview where he was actually up to direct harry potter and he was going to do the very first one and to actually take over a bunch of them and be the main person behind harry potter and he turned it down he said that there was a time in his life where he was raising his children in los angeles it was about being with his kids or going to london and giving up a bunch of their childhood then he said, you know, four or five months at a time, he wouldn't see his family. He'd be ripped away from that actual fatherhood experience to the point where he's like, I had to turn it down. Even though like Spielberg doing Harry Potter seems insane to me, I think it could have been really cool to see what his vision would have been. I think about, you know, how, he, how well he deals with children in general. You think about E.T., you think about even that uh, Super, well, it was, Super 8 was kind of inspired, he produced it. But like the way he deals with children, I think it could have been really cool. And his, his directing skills are awesome. But then again, the movies are so phenomenal. I don't really know if they needed him. Rachel, what do you think? Do you think this was a good idea that they didn't go with Spielberg? That he actually stepped down they got different directors? Or do you think it would have been cool if Spielberg would have directed Harry Potter? Harry Potter! I truly think that Steven Spielberg can direct literally anything. Um, after seeing West Side Story, when they announced that, I was like, he's doing a musical? He can do a musical? And then it came <laughs> out and it was fantastic. Um, so I truly believe that he has the capability to make anything into a fantastic film. Um, do I think it was a good choice for him to not take it in the long run? Yes. Just because I don't think he wants to be associated with the current branding of, uh, Harry Potter and... The anti-Semitism that has come out of it is not really his brand. Yeah. It doesn't really align well with Schindler's List. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think he, in hindsight, would be very glad he didn't take it. Um, not only because he got to spend the time with his kids, but because of everything with uh, that whole brand at this point. Yeah, and JK, too, she came out recently and said that uh, people were, you know, misquoting her. And, you know, she was like, ah, my true story is going to come out. And I'm like, ah, you know, it's just too much. It's too much. And it affected the whole franchise. And it's supposed to be a fun thing. And it's it, it's just, uh, it's, Spielberg's probably happy he's not attached to it. That's all I can say at this point. It, it was probably just better that he chose where he was going. Sabrina, what do you think? Could you imagine a world where Spielberg directed this? Um, I might have watched it if you directed it. I'll I'll say that. <laughs> um, I, I certainly did not watch. I tried to watch Harry Potter seventy four times. I fell asleep every time. I saw Harry the car Potter. fly up to a window at some point, and I was like, "And now I'm napping." I don't know. It was like almost as hard for me to get through as uh, Lord of the Rings. Sorry if that makes me unpopular. Um, I just it just was a lot for me. Um, and I just don't, I didn't read the books. I was too old for the books. I think I like, it, it came out, I was like, you know, not really at the age where I would have read the books. And so the movie, and also like, you know, then the movie came out, not reading the books. I'm like, I feel like I'm just like a little bit old for this, which I know is very strange to hear since I watch all these stupid superhero movies and seem seemingly enjoy them immensely. Um, I But Harry Potter is just not for me. If Steven Spielberg did it, I think I may have been more inclined. Um, but again, wildly successful franchise. I don't think that it mattered for the franchise. And it certainly didn't matter for him. His career is amazing. Again, he is up for, you know, for the first time in his career, best writer um, or best uh, original screenplay for Fablements and also best director for Fablements. Um, I, I don't, I mean, his career honestly could not have gone any better. So I, I don't think it affects either the franchise or him as a director. Um, you know, I, I do think it would be interesting to see what he would have done with it. But, uh, you know, aside from that, I don't I don't think it really makes a difference, honestly. I would like yeah. to have seen him direct the Twilight movies personally. That would have been something. That would have been Hunger Games. He could have done a really good job with Hunger Games. That that is not even sarcastic. How dare you? How dare you entangle him with Twilight? That's like a Rihanna and and Kanye situation for me. Don't do it. I I think it would have been completely different though if he did Twilight. I think he would have been like trying to change the source material a lot. He'd have been like, "Why are they sparkling?" We don't need. They don't need to be sparkling. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to do that. No, Those no, no. movies are <laughs> cinematic masterpieces. <laughs> I have unfortunately seen them all. I have unfortunately uh, throughout the time they came out. Just you know, people I was with, you know, dates and stuff like that. I unfortunately saw them all, and um, they didn't get better as they went along. 
You know, I thought they would. And you even have to. If someone tried to take me to see Twilight <laughs> on a date, I would be like, and we're breaking up. So Hence I'm why we it. did. It didn't work out. Anybody <laughs> I was with that I went on those, it did not work out. And I was like, let's go, I guess, you know. And at the very end where they didn't all die, but they died in their mind. I'm like, what a cop out. Oh I don't God, know. Watching that in the theater at the midnight premiere was absolutely fucking insane i never <laughs> read the books i didn't give a shit about the series that much like me and my friends went as like a joke consistently yeah. to a few of the openings because like it was the mid 2000s what else the fuck are you doing um, i know right <laughs> everyone's like let's go see twice it's all big everybody's talking about let's go see it why not uh and and people absolutely lost their minds in that scene it was so funny <laughs> so funny. Well, I know because it's like there's this huge epic battle, and I'm finally like, yes, something big is happening. And then they're like, oh, that would happen if we fought. Maybe we shouldn't fight, guys. Okay. I do love Rachel Twilight, Lexi. Twilight. It's a camp masterpiece. <laughs> call, it, is a out. it is a call comedy out. masterpiece. Boom. <laughs> called out. Look at that. Called out. <laughs> and you know what? As, as problematic as Stephanie Meyer is, she doesn't hate trans people. So, see, there you go. <laughs> She's better win better right there. Jkr. Yeah, Jk. I was just gonna Jeez, say, wasn't JK. that another thing with her too? Like she's she seems like an extremely problematic person. This this. JK, oh, JK? Rawlings. Yeah, well, like I said, she, she's trying to, you know, play some shit. She's got a podcast coming out saying, oh, I mis quote, misunderstood. I'm like, bullshit. Sit down. Calm down, bitch. I'm sorry. Go away. We love your material, but just 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 shut up. You know, just 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 get out of here. You know? I used to be very impressed saying. with her as a person. Like, she, like, was, like, living in her car and shit and, like, then, you know, wrote these novels and, like, became this, like, and then, but then, like, it seems like the more you learn about her, the worse she gets. Like she's just she, not a good human. She's not a good. She human. just she spends millions and millions and millions of dollars on anti-trans legislation, like pushing in the UK, and it's it's truly disgusting, and it's it's morally reprehensible to support the series at this point because of how bad it's gotten. And even if you want to say, hey, let's separate the art from the artist, that can't happen when the artist is alive, for one. But two, the source material, like I said earlier, is is heavily anti-Semitic. The, they use the imagery of 1940s or 1930s um, Nazi propaganda to base the images of the goblins off of. Like, it's it's Oh wow. It's gross. <laughs> yeah. It's I, I think not... she somehow skirted around all of the transphobic shit like a few years back when it first came to fruition and this fantastic beast shit was going on. Like she not I don't want to say skirted, but she somehow was able to like not get uh canceled, quote unquote, which I guess is a thing. Um, and, and they still allowed those movies. There, then there was the controversy around Johnny Depp and they fired him and they brought in, who's that guy they brought in? The guy from Hannibal? Uh, Mads, Mads Mikkelsen. Of, yeah, because of his controversy. But like, what about her controversy? Like, I don't really know how she got around that. And now there's this whole thing. Like, I, I don't know. She's She's got to be like Illuminati at the highest fucking level or some shit. Like, I don't know how she's been able to squeeze by Childhood you know, without culture is so fucking strong that people are willing to overlook marginalized communities being shit on entirely. Um, I worked at because Universal of, because of that. You think? Yeah, you think that's what it uh, is? Yeah. When I worked at Universal in Orlando, I was in um, vacation sales, and the number one thing that people went to Universal for was for the Harry Potter uh, areas. That was yeah, their number one it. selling point, and in their new park, yeah. Epic Universe. Even still, with everything going on, they're going to build a Harry Potter area. Wow. I will say this. Um, Brian loves Universal here. Mm -hmm. And um, we both had season passes. And so, like, it would be, like, a random Sunday. But let's just go to Universal. And where would we go? To the I go ride butter that broomstick. beer capital of the world, whatever there. And the butter beer is disgusting there, grapes. by the way. Well, whatever. Yeah, Did you say butterbeer right? was disgusting? It what? was disgusting at Universal, yes. Have you had it there? It's disgusting. I went to, I, I was at the one in Orlando all the time because I worked for the company, so I got in yeah. for free. Um, <laughs> and I, you like the butterbeer? I like the butterbeer. Uh, the hot butterbeer and the cold butterbeer are good. The frozen butterbeer is trash. Okay. 
I don't know. I had one. Maybe I had the frozen one, but I had it and it was, I was like, I can't do this. I'm like, I wanted it to be sweet. alcoholic. Maybe sweet. that's why. I wanted to be um, super alcoholic and it wasn't. But they had like had fireball chicken. there. Chicken with a side of grapes and there was a spider encased in a web on my grapes. Yeah. So oh, no. after that, oh. I never oh. ate or drank in that Harry Potter barn again. I was done. <laughs> Party's over. Take your wand and shove like, it up I'm your I'm done with Harry Potter. <laughs> I literally was just like it looks like it's in the grapes. I'm like I'm an arachnophobic. This is not no. me too. Mm-hmm. I was not. I do not like that scene nope. in the Forbidden Journey ride where they put you face to face to the giant spiders. Not yeah, a fan the of spider that. jumps at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that she the VR like that one where you're on the on the. Thing. It's the you're moving one. through the the castle yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you sit well, on the thing uh, and it's like a VR. Like it's all yeah. like not VR, yeah. but like, you know, it's what um, you know what I'm talking It's about. a mixture. It's a mixture of it. You know, it's with like the, practical. The things, and the, what are the angry things in the capes that come in? The mentors. Yeah, they come, right? Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Uh yeah. the yeah. they spiders in that right too. It's it's gross and awful. Yeah, I don't that yeah. ride breaks down every time you get on it. So I don't really know that I was ever scared Teddy because Potter. it just breaks down every ten minutes. <laughs> One more time um, with that. She gets her licensing in bulk from the the theme parks, though. So, like, honestly, go ride the ride if you're there. She's not getting any money from that that she hasn't already gotten. But if you buy merchandise, it goes right to her. So don't don't buy the merch. Yeah, I'm not buying no merchandise, wants. but I am riding the ride. So that, that's that's good. Yeah. So that's I like good to the know. roller coaster, the good old wooden roller coaster. Roller coaster.